What's a, a guy in his mid 20s, rich businessman, <clears throat> who spent his entire adult life from the time he got out of high school until he was where he was just to make himself rich and famous? That's all he cared about. He wanted to be rich. He was a major CEO by the time he was 25 years old, because all he did was work. He lived on the East Coast, but he had to go out to California for a big conference. And he figured he'd take his brand new Lamborghini out and he'd drive across the country and just see the country on his way out there. So he's driving across the country in his brand new Lamborghini and he's on the phone, he's sending text messages, he's working while he's driving, he's not even enjoying the drive. <clears throat> and he's following his GPS trying to get there faster because now he realizes that he doesn't care about what's going on around him. All he cares about is his work and doing everything by himself. So he put in the fastest route in his GPS and followed it. Unfortunately for him, the fastest route in his GPS took him straight into a dead zone. His GPS quit on him. His cell phone went completely out. He had no communication with the outside world. He was driving nuts. So while he's sitting there playing with his phone, driving down this road in the middle of nowhere, He's not paying attention to the road and he crashes off the side of the road into a ditch. So he gets out and slams the door and he's walking around trying to find his cell phone service. He doesn't know where he's at. He doesn't have a clue what's going on. He's angry. He's upset. He's, he just wants to, to do his work. So he starts looking around and he realizes that there's nothing around him for miles. Until he sees like off in the distance there's like maybe a house. So. He starts walking towards the house. He goes up to the house. A couple hours later, he finally gets there, and he knocks on the door. And an old man comes up to the door, and he's like, "Excuse me, sir, my truck or my, my Lamborghini is crashed on the side of the road down there. Do you have a truck or a tractor or a <coughs> or something I could call a tow truck? Can you please help me get out of here?" And the old man was like, "Well, my tractor broke down, and I don't have a phone out here. It's just me." But don't worry, I think I have something that will help you out. Just meet me out front here in a few minutes. Next thing you know, the guy's coming out from the barn with a donkey. This donkey looks like he's probably about a thousand years old. He's barely moving. And this businessman is like, really? This is what this wants me to use to pull my car out? There's no way this is going to work. But he doesn't have a choice but to trust this guy because it's all he has. So the old man's like, don't worry, Ian Wilbur will get you out. So they walk the, the several miles that it takes them to get to the car. The old man hooks up Wilbur the donkey to this car and he says, Wilbur, pull! So Wilbur starts pulling, the car budges a little bit, and then it slides back down even further than it was. At this time, the businessman, he's getting really upset. He's like, seriously, this one 10,000 year old donkey is not going to be able to cut it. The guy's like, don't worry, Wilbur's gonna get you out. He says, Wilbur, pull! Wilbur starts pulling again. He gets the car up a little bit further, a little bit further, and then he sinks back down. One more time, the other guy's like, Wilbur, pull! This time, the car doesn't even move. The businessman's like, if there's something else we can do, please, there's gotta be another way. The old man's like, don't worry, Wilbur's gonna get you out. I promise. Watch this. The old man says, Wilbur, Jack, Jim, James, Larry, pull. And Wilbur starts pulling. And he starts pulling. And the old man repeats all the names again. Wilbur, Jack, Jim, Larry, pull. And he starts moving this car out. And he starts moving it out and further and further until the car is completely out. And the businessman standing there, he's like, he's in awe. He's like, how did that happen? Because I saw for myself that this donkey was not even able to budge that thing a little bit, not five seconds ago. So he turns to the old man and he says, how did he do that? And what were those other names you shouted? The old man said, well, Wilbur's blind. But he used to be a part of the championship pulling team. And those were the names of his team members. As I said, Wilbur went blind before they died. So he thinks that his team is still with him. And when he heard his other teammates were there helping him pull, it gave him the extra strength to do what he needed to do. The moral of the story is, you guys need to make sure you're doing everything together. Because that teamwork 
it's so important that you'll be able to accomplish anything as long as you have your brothers and sisters on your team. But if you try to do everything by yourself as a businessman, or like Wilbur was trying to do at first, you're never going to accomplish anything. Mr. Krause, do you got anything for him?